Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. So I've just concluded my two-part epic where we got to over 500 dice. And so now I want to revisit the 1% of that, the five dice challenge, because there's lots of new things in the upgrades that I want to look out for. Particularly um, when passives become more abundant so when you buy passives you get a discount and there's a new upgrade that comes where you can set all dice faces to one individual number that appears on that dice so if you saw my i think it was seven trillion run a few months back that came off the back of having a chain of one two three four five setting all the numbers to five but it's now much easier to do that so we're going to see what we can do by setting as many of our die faces to five. And then from there, trying to get to as many passives as we can that's going to launch our score, hopefully, high up into the stratosphere. Right, with two reasonable upgrades there, let's get on to our first store upgrade. This is where we're going to spend a lot of our early rolls chewing up to 750 points and the upgrade thereafter of course only wanting to stop purchasing dice through upgrades never through these bottom two here because if we have more than five then we're going to cause some problems for ourselves so we will take our free reroll will we no let's take this plus four first before we spend our free reroll So as long as one of the faces on the die remains at five, we'll be able to set whatever face we want to be all fives. So setting them all to five now isn't necessarily the most efficient, but we need some early period scaling. We do not want die adders that will ruin the run. So let's take 10 times multiplier. So it's going to be 10 times 3, 10 times 2 at the moment, and then 10 times 3. I mean, we don't have many other options for trying to build value at the moment. Because the hard part is getting good scaling in the first kind of 750 rolls. But we will do what we can. We'll just take one of those, go after our other shop upgrade, get to a third dice. It's going to make the 10x worth 150% as much as it is right now, when we only have two dice. Right, let's take a free reroll. Die adders we don't want, die boosters. Replace the die face of your choice with a die booster adder every 150 times, definitely not. I will take a 49 though. That's going to give us hopefully some good early scaling. I can't remember how I managed to get to the billions I was working with at 1250 rolls previously. But we do what we can. Right. Am I really interested in any of this stuff? I don't think so. So let's go for another upgrade. It's about 3,000, was it? 3,500. There's dice number four. Now we need one more of those upgrades. Take a free reroll. Right. Lottery failure, I don't care about. Number divisible by five will be increased by the bonus percentage. That we certainly do want. It's incredibly expensive right now. So what I'm going to do is work on some of this other stuff first. As long as we keep a five or two on the board on each dice, we can try and scale up early to then have more funding 
to buy the synergies that we want. So we'll replace the one up here. We'll get a couple of more large numbers for now. There's probably some mathematical way to figure out the optimum way of doing this, but I do not have those kinds of mathematical skills. Right, do we want something re-rolling? Adds a re-roll to a dice face of your choice. Rerolls the die additional times according to the amount specified. We'll take it because it's fairly cheap. We'll put it on whichever dice has the highest value on it, which I think is that right-hand side dice at the moment. Shop Refresh Adder replaces a die face of your choice with a Shop Refresh Adder. Every 50 times it's rolled, it grants an additional free refresh. That would be good, but I think we're going to replace everything with fives before that becomes of reasonable value to us. So I'm going to purchase this 86. I'm going to put it on that right-hand side dice that's re-rolling three times. Then we'll start working on the passives in the final upgrade. making sure to maintain a 5 on that dice. Now how long is it going to take us to get to 16,000 at the moment? 1,000, 2,000, not too, not too long. I think it's 10k. So this is not the flag. The value of all numeric faces divisible by 5 will increase the bonus percentage by 100%. So every time we roll a 5, it's going to increase to a 10. That's fine for now. We also then want to take our next shop upgrade. And that will be our fifth and final dice. roll of course right no weights increase if across all rolled dice none of the rolled faces are weighted all numeric values on all rolled dice will be increased by three times we certainly want that and we certainly want to ignore these so now we're just going to be hunting passives and of course we want to set everything to five as soon as possible. Might have to burn through some rerolls to get there, but I don't want to miss out on the chance of the passives that I do see when I see them. Although this is feeling either I didn't hit it with the flag or this is incredibly expensive. It's 56,000. That is incredibly expensive. This might not be the optimum order of operations then if this is as expensive as it is because we're going to leave ourselves with so few rolls after this. Right, there's our first real passive. Don't want this. Don't want any of that. We will re-roll. Dice of rerolls are increased by a thousand percent. But again, that's sixty-four thousand. I think I've done a bad job of getting ourselves set up for success here. Oh, I screwed up colossally. What did I buy that I didn't think I bought? The value of all numeric faces divisible by five will be increased by the bonus percentage. If across all rolled dice none of the rolled faces are weighted, all numeric values on the rice will be increased by three. It's not a multiplier. That's me being dumb. Alright, well we've only got 600 rolls left. Everything is going to grow to 99. 
We'll see what we can do with some Yahtzees or something. But that's what you get for doing what I've always done in D&D &D and many other things, not reading out the thing in its entirety. When you roll doubles, yep, we want that. We're certainly building our own wealth now reasonably quickly, but it's just not going to scale the way we hoped it would, is it? I'll take a re-roll on something because that's worth 100% of itself. Non-standard multiples. Don't care about that. Add a multiplier to a die face of your choice. If the value of the face will be multiplied by the specified amount whenever it is rolled. So we want to buy lots of these for all of our 99s everywhere that we can find them. But I feel like, in a word, I have biffed this. Increments we don't need, lotteries we don't want. Settle dice doesn't matter anymore because we can't get to five if we wanted to. Mega run increase. Number divisible by two, increase it by one. No 99s does not work out for us. Weights we don't care about anymore. Perfect square numbers, all in. Numeric faces have value of zero. Lotteries increase. We should take a 10x, shouldn't we? Although 620,000 is a lot. We'll take a 2x on a single face for now. We should probably put it on the die that re-rolls, but never mind. How long is it going to take us to get to 620,000 to get 10x of whatever this is? We might not make it. This might be the fastest bust in the history of rolls. Yeah, this did not work out, did it? We never got to Yahtzee bonuses. We never got to all the synergy we wanted. And we are going to cruise down to zero rolls with a tiny, not even half million score. So today's lesson understand the things that you're buying before you buy them and our score is very 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 low all right well that was a bust join me tomorrow where i will endeavor the same thing but i will understand that i should read things twice purchase them once thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers